Hey guys, this is Mr. A. Chrissy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on the, on the new MGM film directed by Ridley Scott, House of Gucci. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, I yeah recently last, last yeah yesterday me me and my parents me my mom and dad we we all we all went and saw the new MGM film by Ridley Scott House of Gucci directed by Ridley Scott like I said, and and so House of Gucci is based on a true story of of the Gucci company and and the story of House of Gucci is about this when when Pez like when when. When Pizzera Reggiagini, an outsider from 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 hum from humble beginnings, marries into the Gucci family, her her unbridled and a, a, a bit ambition begins to to unravel the family legacy and triggers a reckless spirit spirit spiral of, of betrayal, the 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 decades the decadence, revenge, and ultimately murder. Yeah, and like I said, the movie plays out as a true story behind the Gucci family and the Gucci company. So there you have it. So, so what? So here, here are my thoughts on House of Gucci. First of all, I, I, I really liked House of Gucci. I, I thought it was a good movie, and 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 second of all, I, I, I also love Ridley Scott as well. Like you know, Ridley Scott's a great filmmaker, and he's also a great director as well. And and back in October, the same on the same day, Halloween Kills came out. Like really, Scott directed this film called The Last Duel, which I I never really saw The Last Duel because of how bad it was doing at the box office. But but then but then when when I saw a trailer for House of Gucci, like for really Scott's other film that came out that came out this year in, in November, the same day as Disney's and Condo, I, I I was actually very interested in checking out House of Gucci, and my mom was too, since she loves Lady Gaga like I do, and everyone else, and you know Lady Gaga, just like how she was previously in the in the twenty eighteen film. A Star is Born, and my mom also loved that film too, so, and so, and, and so we all saw it together, me, my mom and dad, and my parents, you know, my mom and dad, we, we, all three of us went and saw House of Gucci at, at, at my local Regal movie theater that I work at, and, and, and for what it was, the movie actually played out to be very good, it was, it was actually a good film that I actually liked, I mean, yeah, despite the mix of positive reviews from critics, I don't really care much since I know I can definitely I can definitely see that 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 some that that, that, that most of the critics pro probably enjoyed the last duel a lot more than this film. But but since I never saw the last duel, I'm gonna have to say I I enjoyed this film. I enjoyed this film it just just as as good as it is. <clears throat> and I also think House of Gucci also also has a very good soundtrack. Like you know, it's got some Italian songs in including like there was also a part in this film where it also features an Italian version of I'm a Believer. Yeah, I'm. I'm not kidding. They actually have an Italian version of, of of I'm a Believer playing at some point during the movie. And yeah, Ridley Scott's direction, like he does a great job directing this film, and 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 as and as for the actors who who star in this film, Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, and um, Jeremy Irons, Jared Leto, and and Selma Hayek, and and Al Pacino, that they. All, 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 all those actors and actresses that they, they, they all did, they all did a great job working on this film. And, and Jared Leto was definitely the show stealer here. You know, Jared Leto, like he was definitely the show stealer here because he was pretty funny at most parts. And, and, and I thought he was, and I thought Jared Leto was great in House of Gucci. Lady Gaga and Adam Driver were both great as well. Yeah, especially that it's, it's kind of interesting how Ridley Scott and Adam Driver worked on both, worked on both films that came out this year, The Last Duel and House of Gucci, that both, both starring Adam Driver and directed by Ridley Scott. And of course, yeah, this movie was made by Ridley Scott's company, Scott Free Productions. And this movie was also made by Braun and MGM. And it was pretty cool. And it, and it was nice seeing the, seeing the 2021 MGM logo. And yeah. Yeah, even the costume design. The costume design is also very good too. So overall, House of Gucci was a, a good film from 2021, and I'm gonna give House of Gucci four out of five stars. So if if you if you have a movie theater open near you, and if you haven't seen House of Gucci yet, then I definitely recommend it for sure. I recommend it.
There you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on House of Gucci. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. 8 Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody. And that's about it.